हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू द गेम ऑफ हाई फ्लायर्स टुडे विद मी वी हैव मिस्टर अंकुश सो अंकुश रिसेंटली गॉट सिलेक्टेड इन इंफोसिस ही टुक ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम अस फ्रॉम सासन गिक सॉल्यूशन ऑन मॉड्यूल इन एसपी एमएम एंड ही हैज डन मल्टीपल ट्रेनिंग्स विद अस So before I jump my gun to Ankush, let me give a quick introduction about Ankush. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So um, uh, Ankush is having uh, now in total he is having around seven point five years of experience. When he came to us, uh, he was earlier working with a company in a solar and energy company as a in operation. He he was working and then he saw that the growth is not happening. and he basically came to us from from the uh, recommendation we have mr adi who is our sap tm trainer and uh, he uh, he is one of the relative of him and then he suggested sastra geek you go to sastra geek and get yourself trained there and then from there he came to us and uh, uh, i had one to one sessions with him uh, understanding his profile and then i suggested him that sap mm or sourcing and procurement would be a good one for him to get it started he took uh, sap mm training with us he did sap mm mastery he did sap mm excellence then he also completed job hunt mastery program and then he also did an internship with us so after doing these things uh, first he got selected in the mantra consulting uh, he worked for some time in the mantra consulting and then he switched to infosys right now he recently joined infosys so that is a brief story uh, uh, about ankush so uh, ankush i have given a small introduction about uh, yourself uh, welcome to the game of high flyers thank you thank you sir yeah so it would be great ankush that if you can explain your story in your words how you was working uh, in energy field and how it comes to you that i need to switch to sap and from non it background jumping into sap how difficult it was to learn module what was the processes you have gone through what challenges you have faced and how you have overcome that it would be great for the other people to know that of course of course sir. so hello uh, hello everyone myself ankush so my background is mechanical engineering so for mechanical engineering to it it is very difficult i was in the energy field so my passion was in that time energy solar energy field energy but uh, at that time the uh, i was not getting a good pay and good salary and not good competition from the company so mm-hmm. i asked uh, sir i asked a lot of uh, uh, i i i see lot of uh, uh, opportunity where the it is getting a very good opportunity so i asked sir how, how should i grow so sir say sir guide me actually i was very confused because of the i, I see as a mechanical engineer we can't understand the c++ java because that is very difficult that is mm-hmm. not able to understand because of the what is going on in java and c++ but sir said that no 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 this is not like a java or c++ because this is very different thing you can't uh, this is not a coding or uh, uh, it is very different thing uh, uh, every day you use this uh, procurement it is same thing you are using in the uh, uh, sap so uh, sir guide me sir give me the uh, sorry sir give me the lot, lot of uh, on his basis also he's give me lot of uh, encouragement because of that thing we i learn sap i was not able to uh, starting in starting i was not able to understand because sap is simple but as per my guidance uh, sir give me the more guidance to me so every day he was giving me more guidance so as uh, because of that thing i learned that sap uh but it is a simple as per my understanding after the completion of my uh, job and everything it is very simple don't hesitate to learn it is very simple uh and uh, we can i understand i can do that no every everybody can do that see uh, i was very uh, uh, if you want to uh, find an opportunity you want to do matlab uh you want to think out of the box so that is a sap sap is the key to the success i think so it's all about me thank you sure i i uh, i remember that that initial discussions which we have done 
and uh, uh, I remember that you was very scared that whether in the IT field you are going and you never liked uh, um, the coding part and then I explained no coding is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So as I uncouched said that is he can do it, you all can yeah. do it. Okay, you all, that is the purpose of these interviews to motivate people because I know a lot of people are trying and uh, people get demotivated that you are uh, training, training, kar liya, job to lagta nahi and we don't get job. So this is to motivate all of the people that if Ankush can do it, you can definitely do it. So Ankush, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. It would be great if you can uh, put some light over uh, the interview process that how you prepared your CVs and then how uh, you went for the interviews and uh, how you were able to crack the interviews. See, uh, in mechanical field, the interview is different. In IT field, the interview is different. I don't know how to give, how to achieve that, how, the, how to prepare the resume. In, I, in a mechanical field, we was doing the same thing, uh, but uh, same thing I was doing because in uh, IT field and me mechanical, both are very difficult, different field. Because of the sir, uh, sir explained me how to highlight your skill in the resume and your interview. So because of the uh, that thing, uh, in starting phase, I was not getting a lot of call. I was frustrated because of that thing. I was totally frustrated. Not a single call in one day. I was totally frustrated. I was I called to sir and sir guide me. And she, he said he, you should start the internship. And in the, in the internship, he explained me how to uh, prepare your resume. That is the first thing. That is the first step. Because uh, uh, every recruiter see that that thing. And presently, what is happening? Uh, he guide me that ki AI system presently is checking the your resume. So he, as per the AI system, also he guided us. Ki, AI, AI system should recognize your word, and we sh that should be find out that word, particular word. After that, lot of call, lot of call, particularly. But in one day, fifteen to sixteen call I was getting. After that, uh, I, I, he, he, he gave me the guidance in uh, how, how your resume should be good, your LinkedIn profile should be good, your Nokri profile, how to update that Nokri.com. Because of that thing. Every day, 15 to 16 call was coming. And, uh, and in, uh, in one day, there was one interview was uh, that scheduling was there. So, so like that, the my at that time, the Corona was there in that. That was the down market at that time. Uh, literally in quarter means uh, that was a very worst situation in the market. And that situation also, I was getting a call that that was so very good uh, opportunity because of the sir guidance i think so the so people who are listening the, a lot of people over the linkedin ask me that uh, uh, whether mm would be good whether we'll be getting uh, interview calls whether we'll be able to get join the job so you can hear that ankush once he updated his resume his cv as we guided in the job and mastery program and in the internship also he was getting 15 to 16 calls 16. per day. 15 to 16 calls per day he was getting with basic SAP MM itself. So the opportunities are there in MM. The thing is that you need to be strong. You need to go deep. And you need to also showcase your skills correctly in the CV. Because CV is the first thing. Until, unless you don't update your CV correctly, that is the first wall. You are not in front of the selectors. Your CV is in front of the selectors. If that is wrong, then you will not be going ahead. And we explain in the job and master, you have taken around three hours of training only how to prepare your CV correctly. CV, yes. Okay, that's good. So, Ankush, you also talked about in between about the uh, internship program also, right? So can you explain yeah. our viewers what was the internship programs, uh, how you did the things? I think it was a, you was into the group of the members where SDMM uh, PP yes. consultants was there, right? So that yes. would be good for the viewers to understand what happened in the internship program. See, uh, in internship, uh, I learned a lot of things. How to prepare a document? Uh, what is the implementation process? How Because uh, if you are doing an implementation, you will not learn a support project. So I learned uh, implementation. How, what is the process? There are four process. Processes are there. Uh, what is the uh, uh, process cycle is there? So I learned a lot of things. What is you want to make a chart? 
heart you want to make every uh, aspect from you and in, in i was very lucky and sir has given a very good chance in my team there was sd people pp team pp people was there mm people was there so each and every brain was using sir as per the uh, uh, our best efficiency so that was very good sd people was giving a very good uh, uh, their uh, problem so they was uh, they was giving their problem so we was solving that because uh, see an sap is the interlinkage between pp mm and sd so you need uh, people uh, real life experience so that gif sir has given us so that was very good experience with sir and with our that team uh, so we i think that was very good experience don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos yeah and uh... These day now we have taken the internship program to the, the totally next level. In the uh, batch you was there in the internship program, we were not having our bappers. So at in that batch, I think we have not worked on the rise of W. In the current batches we are going on, we also have a BAP intern so that uh, we are going into the functional specification preparation and then actual development would be done in the system by a BAPR so that you can also see that how the customization can be done. So my motive is that, you know, that if I am giving some consultant, training someone and giving some consultant to the industry, he should be knowing a lot of things. It's not like that. You only know that MM01, uh, SPRO, that things are very easy. You get on the Google. The difficult things is that do the consulting, do the solutioning. So that part also we are focusing in a team. You learn that how a solution need to be prepared, how the functional specification need to be prepared, how the enhancement need to be happen, and full complete uh, support and the implementation exposure now we are giving. So that's that's good. You joined that internship badge and that helped you a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. So uh, Ankush, uh, next question I have related to the Infosys process, because a lot of people ask me, uh, boss, uh, uh, in Accenture, how the process is there in IBM, how the process is there. Now you have taken the uh, interview in uh, uh, Infosys. So you, can you guide and highlight that what was the Infosys process? How many different number of interviews happens? What kind of technical questions has been asked in the interviews that can help others who are, who have aimed to join Infosys, uh, 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 it can help to others. Okay, my uh, three round was happened. There was three round. First round, one HR called me and he he takes some uh, energy, uh, he takes some uh, knowledge from me. So he asked me some questions. So uh, he was judging, I think he was just uh, calibrating that knowledge and uh, uh, CV. Second call, uh, that was a technical round. And one hour call was that. That was a very deep knowledge. They they tested me on a very uh, thoroughly. On one hour call was there. So he asked me about uh, account determination, about subcontracting and uh, consignment process, account determination. What is the account? Uh, uh, so how many accounts should be there in consignment? There should be a four or five like that. So what is the full form of that? BSX, BWX, uh, BSV. So he asked me everything. And... Uh, a release strategy, uh, release strategy. He asked me how how, how to trigger that, and uh, batch management. Uh, does it? We can can we can we delete that? And how if there is a client want to delete that? How to, how to delete that? So like that, the, the question was the general question, not so hard question. Uh, that is a very general question. In same interview, I was I was giving the same uh, same question in every interview because I was I was very. Uh, 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 used to about that interview like the same question so i was not uh, because of that thing uh, it was easy to me after that the negotiation call has happened with the hr and uh, I, I i joined the infosys presently. okay that's good that's straight away simple processes there right yeah yeah it is very simple process so, uh, uh, so how many uh, different interviews you have given and how out of those how many interviews you was able to crack so I was given uh, uh, about uh, ten to twelve interviews, particularly mm -hmm. in this. In that uh, five interview, I call I, technical round. I clear that was they have not offered me an offer later. <laughs> that was not uh, my problem. Uh, I crack up uh, technical round and manager round. After that, also they have not given me the uh, offer later. Uh, was a very big company but uh, i don't know what happened with them 
uh, I don't know. Yeah, so that's happening. So that's a normal process. So they take the interviews, they finalize it, then they put you in pipeline. If they if they see that the projects are coming, then they release the offer letter and then offer letter. Yes, giving the people. I I I I, I given the interview in Zinsa. They was giving you a seven point five package. Uh, I, I I crack interview in a TCS also. Uh, mm -hmm. So like that that happened uh, in JKT also. I I crack an interview but they are not given me offer so a uh, lot of opportunity i miss because of the i don't know luck or what but uh, because of the motivation of sir and guidance of the sir i was very happy ki nahi ho jayega kuch to something will happen <laughs> that was my motivation let's see so motivation is very important. Uh, you know that uh, uh, why I ask my all the candidates, please join the live sessions. Please be communicating with me. Even now we have also put it, uh, we have a team, Bhupendra Raman. I ask them, keep on calling people, checking with them that uh, whether they are doing anything. We have a Monday calls, at least attend those calls. Because getting into the motivation is very important. So there are some people who reach out to me, sir, interview call ni aare, two, three interviews we did, we failed, we were not able to crack, uh, we are disappointed. So Ankush has given around 10 to 12 interviews, right? He cracked five to six out of it, but initial three, four interviews, he also faced like, okay, it is not happening. Uh, uh, he is not able to crack it. So it happens, you need to pass through that phase. Slowly, when you will give two, three interviews, the confidence will build up and the later interviews you will be doing in a very better stage. And some people think, yeah, I need to prepare myself like anything that, and then I need to give the interviews because if that opportunity is gone, there's no other opportunity will come. So the world is full of opportunities, okay? So don't hold yourself from the interviews whenever the opportunities are coming. Prepare your best, what you can do it, and give the interviews. Don't hold it to get, to get make you the master of the stream. Even I don't call myself as a master of SAP MM and sourcing procurement. I'm teaching it for so many years. I'm practicing for 15 years, but there are so many things even which I don't know. Believe me, right? It's the things are so deep. So you cannot be master of uh, even a single module. Even you will work for five to 10 years. So learn all the basic concepts. Make sure your basics are clear and then update your resume and go for interviews. Okay, so uh, uh, Ankush, so what are, what are the future plans? So uh, I will take some uh, uh, TM or something to achieve my more uh, knowledge for the future. Let's see, because the market is presently very tough and you want to learn, every day you want to learn something, so then you can survive in, the, in this market, in this world. So I think uh, from... Uh, Sastrigit only I will learn some new courses so I can sustain in this uh, typical market. So that is very uh, so very difficult to live in this market. So I will learn something new, uh, TM or something uh, WM. So that is my planning. Yeah, so uh, that sounds like a plan. So yeah. what you should do that uh, in MM and sourcing and procurement, uh, Try to see that when when you're working in a projects, what you get more, whether you want you get more into the working onto the inventory side. I will strongly recommend you to go for EWM, right? Okay. If you if you get to work more into the sourcing side of it, I will strongly recommend you to add Ariba into it. Okay. Okay. So those are the modules you need to add it, and you need to, as you said, you need to keep on learning. Once you are into the SAP fields, every day would be a learning. Every day. Yeah. yeah. So correct. Correct. That so, is. <laughs> If you want to fly high, every day you need to learn something. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So Ankush, I'm very happy with your progress. I'm happy that uh, you you tried your best and then after that you, you got the results. So I'm very happy for that. Uh, congratulations for that. And I'm also very glad thank that you, you have you. taken out time and join us here. So thank you for joining us in today's session. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, to the listener listening to this success story. We will be back with another success story very soon. Goodbye for now.